In this video clip, I'll demonstrate how to compute the solution to a system of equations using inbuilt functions in Microsoft Excel. This is not much different from what you will see in other videos, but there is one essential feature that is usually not found in many other videos that are on the YouTube. I'll show how to verify whether the solution exists. In particular, how do you know whether the matrix would have inverse? So is the matrix singular? Meaning if it has no inverse, or inverse does not exist, then it's a singular matrix. And the check for singularity is using determinant. So if you have taken a course in differential equations and linear algebra or just a course in linear algebra, you will know that determinant of a matrix is non-zero if the matrix is invertible. So let's see how that works. And thereafter, I'll show you the usual procedure uh, that almost everybody uh, goes through. So first and foremost, here are the equations 2x plus 3y plus 4z minus 5 times w equals 1. So here's the coefficient matrix corresponding to x, y, z and w. So first equation has 2 multiplying x, 3 multiplying y, 4 multiplying z and 5 multiplying w or sorry negative 5 multiplying w. Likewise, the second equation is 2 multiplying x, negative 1 multiplying y, nothing multiplying z, meaning z does not exist. So in, a, in effect, you have 0 multiplying z and 1 multiplying w. Then we have minus 1 multiplying x, 1 multiplying z, nothing multiplying y or 0 multiplying y and 1 multiplying w. Finally, nothing multiplying x or 0 multiplying x, minus 3 times y, minus 4 times z, minus 1 times w. Now, the matrix on the right, I should write maybe here that b equals, that's the ax equals b formulation, or it's the vector on the other side, and that is 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's RHS, if you will. So let me just write RHS, just so that you know that that's the vector uh, of numbers from the right-hand side of the equation. So if the matrix is not singular, its determinant, it must not be 0. And so the command for finding the determinant is M, D, E, T, R, M, M determinant or matrix determinant. And as you can see, as soon as I typed M deter M, it says returns the matrix determinant of an array. So I'm going to use the parenthesis here and then select this array. Now here's the catch. Any command that begins with M must be executed by simultaneously pressing shift, control, and then enter. But again, all these three keys should be pressed simultaneously. There, that gives me 60. Now you may say, well, what's the big deal? I can do it on my calculator. Yes, you can, but then you can manipulate this existing matrix and then you can save this file as opposed to your calculator, which may or may not have the facility to save lots of files or huge matrices. Excel can do a good job at it. So let's suppose you realize, oh, my equation is wrong here. I need to have one in A. So if I just put one, hit enter, you can say determinant of A changes automatically. I didn't have to do anything. It updates automatically. So going back and putting zero just so that we know that's the right equation that we are solving. So now next thing is to find inverse of the matrix as everybody shows on YouTube. You have to first select the size of the matrix that will result from the inverse. So if it's a four by four matrix, the inverse will also be a four by four matrix as well. And then, having highlighted this entire size, we say equals M inverse in the parenthesis. Let's take this whole array, parenthesis closed. Now shift, control, enter. Now you may think, well, what's this not available thingy? Does that even make sense? It so happened that I chose five by five. So there might be some error. Maybe not, but let me not take uh, chances. So I chose the matrix size incorrectly. So size of the array should be should have been four by four. So let's do it again. Doesn't hurt to have a quick demo. 
so I think now it is 4 by 4 and then I'll say again equals m inverse oops I select this whole thing oops and shift control enter so almost the same numbers except that the last row was invalid and then the solution vector x equals I'm going to select this size and say equals m mult matrix multiplication the first array is the inverse of the matrix multiplied by the second array which is the vector b and don't forget shift control enter so that is the system of or that is the vector of solution corresponding to x y z and w now you may think how do i know this is correct so let's verify it if i say if this is the true solution if i put it back in the equation i should get back the right hand side so to verify that i'll say equals 2 times x which is this guy plus 3 times y which is that plus 4 times z which is this plus minus 5 times w which is this and then I just hit enter and I get back 1 now there is the right hand side here likewise if I do it for the second equation I should get back 2 as my right hand side which is shown here so let's check that again so it's 2 times x which is this minus y plus w that's 2 likewise minus 1 times x plus z plus w right and finally minus 3 times y minus 4 times z minus w and that gets back to me 1 2 3 4 which is the right hand side numbers on the four equations so that I know that the solution that I had here is indeed correct with that said I'll stop here thank you for watching this and if you have some comments feel free to write them bye